Alrighty. So Oculus recently released an update uh, which uh, stopped their system from using as much computer resourcing or computing computer processing power uh, whilst the headset wasn't being worn. Um, this is great because it stops your computer from going absolute ham even when the headset isn't being worn. But for virtual production, what it means is we get really, really laggy tracking or uh, glitchy tracking. I don't know. This is just because, you know, obviously it doesn't it isn't using as much computing power to pro to process the tracking data from the Oculus. Um, so the, the easy fix is you just put your thumb over the headset sensor and then hey presto. It's great. Um, but that's a little annoying. Um, now what you could do is you could just put some uh, tape over the sensor if you want as well. Your low budget solution. Um, but there is an official way for bypassing the sensor with Oculus. Um, and so to get there, what you have to do is you have to navigate to your Oculus install. Um, so mine is here, C program files Oculus. Uh, then you want to go into support and then Oculus diagnostics. Um, and in there is a tool, uh, it'll automatically be installed with your Oculus. Uh, it's called the Oculus debug tool. And if we open that, uh, and you have a look in here, you can see a couple of settings. All we want is this one, bypass proximitous, bypass proximity sensor check. Um, and if we just hit on, like that, uh, you'll immediately notice your headset will light up like it's being worn, even though it's not. And if we just go into Unreal, uh, you'll see that the tracking is fantastic and I don't have to stick my thumb over it, nor do I have to do some dodgy tape setup. Um, so that's just a really handy thing to keep in mind.